Welcome to Reef Diary, day 112. I hope you enjoyed the eight-year anniversary video that I released last night. I stayed up all night editing that just for y'all. Though technically that would make today day 2923 when you really think about it. So today I was looking at this coral during feeding time and there was a mouth open, which you don't see very often with a lithophylon. At least I don't. And the copper band immediately saw it as well and went for that little bit of mysis, but didn't catch it. So that was kind of cool. The sea base still looks semi-miserable, but I don't think it's dying by any means. I just think it's still in recovery. I was looking at this one A-can in the back, and it had like these weird buttons on the side. So the middle looks like an A-can, but the side was like these strange, I mean, like I said, buttons. And it, I guess the angle is what makes it look that way, but it was interesting to me. And these hammers have, or frammers, have babies right there on the edge that I hadn't noticed until tonight. So, there is always something new to see in your reef if you take the time to look. And I just wanted to show you some of these things. I decided tonight to really make an effort to hunt for the blood shrimp, and I keep seeing one. But when I fed the tank tonight, I am almost certain I saw all three. So I'm really happy about that. It, it just hasn't been long enough for them to be out in the open like I'm hoping. But we'll see. And here are just a few top-down shots I took with my iPhone. Uh, when I was doing the video, I grabbed some stills as well. And, you know, things look amazing from above, but the iPhone really doesn't capture it very well compared to, you know, using the DSLR. Today I had to go ahead and change out Reagent A in my Trident. The reason I knew that is because it said my alkalinity had shot up, which I knew wasn't true. So as soon as I replaced the reagent and it primed, I went ahead and did another test and the alkalinity is the exact same as it was, right around 9.6. Also, I neglected to mention this in the eight year anniversary video yesterday, and that is when it came to the new gear purchase in the past year, I completely forgot that I installed the battery array about three months ago that can run all the Vortex and Vectras for a full day if there was a bad power outage in my area. The next step will be to verify that the generator does its job and works properly because it's not been tested yet. That's it for today's Reef Diary. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you again tomorrow with another one. Bye.